Hello and welcome to Computer Jack and More. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Corsair AF140 Elite. And this is part of my redone series where I'm retaking a look at all the different fans I've tested using a whole new noise testing methodology. Previously, I wasn't very happy with it. I felt that I was getting some very some inconsistent data over time, and I just wanted to raise the consistency level as well as the overall accuracy. But the way to really get an uh, even greater improvement is with better equipment. But I can't do that alone without help from viewers like you to join me on Patreon and uh, well, subscribe to the channel there and help me help me grow and get more accurate for all of you. I've got big plans in better testing methodology, better testing equipment, better uh, airspeed measurement, better well case simulation box. But all that is future plans as of right now. All right, so. Here we are in the old data versus the newer data. So original testing methodology is going to be on the right side. New testing methodology is on the left side. And this is going to be the same for all the graphs. We have a ranking for how the fans ranked against each other, uh, the model number, the RPMO spinning at for noise normalized, and actually all the results, and then the performance. So there's going to be a label at the top, and I'll also describe what we're also looking at. So this, we're taking a look at how they performed through my CPU air cooler, noise normalized. And that's just because of the way everything is being measured. And uh, I've got a whole piece on how I've changed my whole testing methodology for collecting noise data. So I encourage you to watch that if you're curious. And I have an overall test methodology piece also on my channel as well. Let's get into what we're actually taking a look here. So in the original testing methodology, the AF140 Elite is right here, ranked number six, moving 1.1 meters per second of air. It is now ranked 11th. So it's actually at lost position relative to other fans value. At 100% PWM fan signaling, it's going to remain the same because noise isn't the main factor here. It's just whatever the maximum RPM the fan can run at it. All right, moving on to CFM testing. We are once again within noise normalized results. And we can see that the AF140 Elite originally planked, placed 7th and now is ranked 11th. Uh, you see the CFM values in there. And we're going to get into the specifics of each of the... Um, tests that were performed later on in this video. This is just where it was before, where we are now, just to cover all the bases quickly as possible in case you are uh, a returning viewer to this channel and just want a quick update. At 100%, nothing has changed. It's still ranked 8th overall. In terms of the case simulation test, at the 6-inch mark, noise normalized. Originally, it was ranked 8th right here, and now it's ranked 12th. At the 11 inch mark, it was originally ranked 15th, and now it's ranked 14th, so it's actually gone up in position. And again, this is our noise normalized values, and you do see a drop in overall air speed though, but an improvement in position, so that's kind of good for this fan. And in terms of the value, originally for the six inch um, case simulation test, noise normalized, its value was ranked 9th, it's now moved to 12th, so it's moved down in position. For the 11 inch mark, it was ranked 15th, and now it's ranked 14th. For the CPU air cooler, noise normalized, it was originally ranked 8th, now it's ranked 11th. For the value proposition at 100%, it's remained the same position at 9th. The CFM noise normalized value pro proposition was ranked 8th, now it's ranked 11th. 100% remains the same at 9th. All right, okay, now we're into the specific tests. The first graph here is from a case simulation test. And the case simulation test can be looked at in a couple different primary ways. And the first one here is what size case are you actually going to purchase? Are you buying a small form factor representative of the six inch mark? Are you buying a compact tower representative of the nine inch mark? Are you buying a mid tower case representative of the 11 inch mark? So mid tower being like fractal design, Meshify 2C and like uh, Corsair 550D, something like that. Or are you getting a large tower, something like the Fractal Design Torrent, which is very representative of the 14.5 inch mark. Well, I have a control fan, this teal color, and it is three parts A12X25 to one part A14. Two fans that I consider very good in their respective categories. The A12X25 tends to do a little bit better at six and nine inches, while the A14 tends to gain ground and do better at the 11 inch and 14 inch marks. So by making this composite uh, imaginary fan, I get kind of the best of both, both worlds. 
to then directly compare other fans against. And right away, we can see that the AF140 Elite just is underperforming. Well, how do things look at 100% PWM, PWM fan singling? Well, at 100%, it's actually pretty good. You do see this trend of a little bit of a joggle from the 9-inch to 14-inch where it loses a little bit extra before kind of flattening out. I know that this is only four data points. I would need many more to actually see the real trends. Uh, it's overall not a bad result, but then you're sacrificing it 29 decibels, and this isn't like true decibels in, an, in a quiet chamber. Uh, anyways, uh, next we want to compare the fan against every other fan, or at least a majority of fans that indicate different trends. And that's what we have here. So the Silent Wings 4140 was, a partic was in my top performer in the 140mm class category. I have the A12X25 listed right here in red, and it is a good performer in the 120 millimeter class category. The NFA14 is in here as well as a light purple line. It is actually right here. All right, so how does the AF140 Elite do? Well, it starts off at the bottom of the pack. Isn't quite the bottom of the pack, but still not very good. Drops way down to the bottom of the pack and ends up at the bottom of the pack. Now, that being said, I do test the fans at 100% signal. How does it do? Well, RPM matters and the NFA14 Elite, or it's not Elite, IPC is at the top. It just wins by pure RPM. The Silent Wings 4 Pro 140 is next up. The A12X25 sits right here, sort of bottom middle. So the AF140 Elite is once again sitting towards the bottom. It's not last but it is towards the bottom at the six inch mark and the nine inch mark. And then it's second from the last at 11 and 14. Well, let's go ahead and move on to the nine inch mark. So the nine inch mark was chosen because you'll see that the fans that aren't very good at concentrating the airflow drop off, but they haven't dropped off to zero. So it becomes a good middle ground to actually do this, uh, the airspeed versus noise testing, so decibels. Well, how does the AF Elite do? Pretty bad, actually. Um, towards the bottom, towards the bottom. And then this joggle, way off to the side here. This is where I hit a more harmonic frequency, either in the fan, the fan with my testing apparatus, or just uh, the fan acting in my testing apparatus. But uh, all of that said, it the joggle, then it does a pretty good improvement and then continues this trend. So it's not that great. There are other fans that just vastly outperform it overall in um, airflow testing in case airflow. Next, we're taking a look at how the AF140 Elite does in my uh, CPU cooler air test. Now, I'm using a U12A, which is a Noctua cooler designed for 120 millimeter class fans. So the fan 140s are basically slapped up against it and I get the airflow reading so that everything is consistent between 120s and 140s. How does the Elite do here? Well, there are two graphs here. The left one is RPM versus airspeed. This is a pure blade efficiency. It's how good is this blade design at pushing air? and nothing else. RPM is the horizontal axis, airspeed is the vertical axis. On the right graph here, we have noise versus airspeed. Noise being the horizontal, airspeed being vertical. In both these two graphs, better fans are gonna be sitting top left, worst fans are gonna be sitting bottom right. Or how quiet is this fan at pushing air at the given speed? So focusing on the blade design, the blade design is actually very good. The problem is once you take a look at the right graph where it's noise, the fan is very noisy. Well, this is all the fans for the 140 millimeter class category because I have only tested 15, so they can all fit on one graph pretty nicely. And as we can see, the AF140 Elite is towards the bottom of the pack. It is close to margin of error for some of the other fans, but it's, I'd call it underperforming overall. At 100% PWM fan signaling, it's 
actually kind of okay. It's middle of the pack. I'd actually call it smack dab in the middle. So it's not a bad result for it. But know that it's going to be noisy to get you there. And next up, we have the airspeed going through the cooler versus decibels. Just to directly compare. And right here is the EF140 Elite. It's bottom of the pack, bottom of the pack, near the bottom. Looks like it was going to be okay. We hit harmonic frequency, comes back, and stays at the bottom of the pack. Alrighty, next up we have CFM testing. I personally don't like how most other reviewers that look at fans do CFM testing. You don't really learn anything about how good a fan is at blowing air through your, C your computer case looking at CFM. CFM tells you one primary thing. How much air can this fan push? Not how good is this fan at pushing air. Uh, RPM versus CFM. So CFM is vertical, RPM is horizontal. Uh, in the right graph, we have noise and CFM. Uh, CFM is vertical. And just like in the air cooler test, better fans are going to be sitting top left. Worst fans are going to be sitting bottom right, both these two graphs. And what do we see? The F140 Elite is tied with my control fan. No real shocker there, I guess. And as for the noise value, well, we do once again see the AF140 Elite being noisier than my control fan. But how does it compare against other fans? And well, the AF140 is sitting below my control fan, but it's not the worst, but it is at the bottom of the pack. How about at 100%? Well, at 100%, we are sitting smack dab in the middle, so it's okay, but in terms of its noise, it's on the noisy side. And last but not least is CFM versus decibels. Once again, every 10 decibels is a doubling in noise value. So that 10 decibels to 20 decibels, that is double the noise. Okay. Uh, the A or AF140 is not the last, but sitting towards the bottom. Then we hit a harmonic frequency, comes back, and... Yeah, it's still sitting at the bottom of the pack even as we raise higher. Well, the AF140 Elite is a $30 fan in the non-RGB version. I do believe there is an RGB version. I don't specifically have the pricing on that. But if it's more expensive, you can expect its value proposition to go down. Um, and it's very easy to calculate. You just see my airspeeds from earlier on in the video and you can get exactly what its value is. Uh, and we are looking at the six inch mark. The, on this first graph here, the left graphs are going to be all noise normalized. The right graphs are going to be all 100% PWM fan signaling. And so we have the results. Well, the AF140 is pretty bad. here, At the 11 inch mark, noise normalized, it's very, 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 very incredibly underperforming. Mine is not the worst, but it's very bad. At 100%, well, it's pretty bad. How do things look at uh, through the CPU care cooler? Well, um, noise normalized, not that good, and 100%. It's okay, middle of the pack. How about CFM testing? Well, it actually looks kind of better here um, overall, so that's cool, but we've established that I don't like CFM testing for the reasons I've indicated. So would uh, this fan get my recommendation? Largely no. Uh, I would say if it came free in your computer case, you have no reason to replace it, or you can just stick it as an exhaust, but I wouldn't go out seeking to buy this fan myself. All right, that brings us to the very end of the video where I always like to show off my raw data. So I, uh, I don't know if I said it earlier. In a pull configuration, on my cooler, I found it to be medium noisy, and um, so I really wouldn't use it in pull configuration. My radiators tend to have a little bit more space between the fins and the fan, so it might do okay on one of those. But uh, if you're, it's gonna be right up against a fin stack, it's gonna be noisy. And this raw data, you're welcome to use it. Type it out into your own Excel table. Uh, record it for and if you're going to use it for your own purposes so just on your own computer doing your own thing with it you're welcome to do it for free just la da 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 if you're going to 
use it in any sort of publication, written, video, or journal, what have you, that's going to be shared. I ask they reference me and my videos because I'm the one who generated this data. It takes me about one and a half to two hours per fan to collect data. Um, it takes hours to update the graphs. It takes time to put in to a PowerPoint. And then it takes time to generate my overall script idea as well as then record it. So if you're going to use it, just I appreciate it if you reference me because it was a labor of love. I, I love this sort of stuff. And I didn't think anybody else was good at doing uh, computer fan testing. So I decided to contribute to the community. Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a great day. And I hope to see you next time here on Computer Tech and More. Subscribe and please check out my Patreon. It would really help me out.